The election in Hartlepool is coming up. Sakir Starmer continues to struggle as a lot of people still don't know who he is. And Labour supporters have a meltdown because Northern working class voters are not supporting Labour. Excuse me. Hi, I'm, I'm Beth from Sky. I was just wondering, that man over there, do you know who he is? The guy over there? No. No? It's Keir Starmer. Right. Do you, do you know who he is? No idea. No? Okay. No idea. Poor Starmer. <laughs> He's having the same problem as uh, Sean Bailey in London. Not many people know who these people are. So Keir Starmer, who's been travelling up and down to try to help his local candidates in the target seats that they have, is struggling because a lot of people don't even know who he is. And the people who know who he is um, haven't forgiven him for betraying Brexit. And the others don't even care for him. They're like, well, who is he? At least with Jeremy Corbyn, the guy was crazy, but people at least respected that he had some sort of some views on some issues. But this is a big problem. In this video, we're going to give you a series of meltdowns that we have seen public meltdowns by Labour supporters. Because why is it that Northern working class voters are not voting for the Labour Party? Why? What is wrong with you people? The opinion polls come out that despite all the problems that Boris Johnson has been facing recently with uh, shopping in John Lewis, <laughs> the Tories are on 50%, the Labour Party 33%, and the Liberal Democrats... 6%. Go on, Lib Dems. Lib Dem come back. And my favorite is the Northern Independence Party. They're, they're trying to basically make the North independent. They are also at 6%. I have no idea how they're doing better than the Greens and the Reform, but somehow they are. This is, <laughs> I think they're taking the vote from the Labour Party anyway. But this is quite interesting because what's been happening is the opinion poll came out. The reaction to it on Twitter has been astonishing. There's an account called Eurovision Research Group. <laughs> whatever that is, with a lot of flags saying the level of ignorance is a pandemic in itself. Basically, people who are supporting the Tories, it's just ignorance. Now, you guys know on this channel, I'm, I'm trying to be objective, and I haven't actually even been uh, supporting any party in this in that sense. I've been criticizing Boris Johnson, uh, although when he does something good, I've been supporting the government, and a lot of times with a lot of decisions, especially with lockdown, I've been critical. The Labour Party as well. If When you have Sawa, the Labour Scottish leader, I've been supporting him. He's been pretty good as a, as a performer, as a leader. So I don't really care which party. If they do weird things, I call them out. But this is interesting because they're just not happy that 50% of the voters are backing the Tories, saying that uh, news outlets need to put context to their stories. I mean, I agree that the media are very bad, <laughs> but not for the reasons that this person thinks. Because they're saying, oh, gaslighting in Downing Street, a funding scandal as a disagreement about a choice of wallpaper instead of deep-rooted corruption. This is a semi-good point because the media have been obsessed with gossip. They're saying, oh, look at, look at the, you know, the curtain, the wallpaper. Is it from John Lewis or is it from, I don't know, Primark? I always say Primark, but I don't think Primark do curtains, but maybe they do. Uh, but uh, this is not really about that. And if there, when there's actual corruption, you should call it out. The media should do it. But this is not why 50% are backing Boris Johnson. This is good. How dense are these people? Well, Rosemary and Owen Kelly, I think they're two people. You won. I've changed my mind now because, you know, you insulted people because that's the best way to take back the northern working class voters. Just insult them. And they'll be like, oh, thank you so much for insulting me. I was Until now, I was going to go against Labour. But now that you've insulted me, I realize, yes, you guys are angels. I have to back Starmer. Seriously. Next one. Obviously, we had to censor this one because Arthur is very rude. They're saying this is just you know, messed up. Working people voting against themselves to line the pockets of tops. Bizarre. The stereotype of the political parties, especially the main two parties, Labour and Tories, guys, that's changed. It's changed a long time ago. And of course, yes, you're going to have a lot of weirdos from both sides. You're going to have also have a lot of rich people backing both sides. This rich elitist thing is not really just a Tory thing. Have you seen the Champagne Socialists backing the Labour Party, backing the Liberal Democrats? It's not just that all rich people are now backing the Tories. In fact, since Brexit, because of Brexit... A lot of the rich, posh, spoiled people decided to abandon the Tories. They are now voting for the Labour Party, Starmer and all the other Remainers. Because they are Remainers. They want to or rejoin us. They want to rejoin the European Union. And all the celebrities, all the rich people. This is not some sort of, oh, every single rich person is a Tory. 
that doesn't work that way. Also, considering the Tories are going against free markets and raising taxes, don't think rich people like that much anymore. So, Arthur, get on with times. So, Dr. F, yeah, says, wow, I hope they get what they're being promised. I've had enough of the UK. It's interesting how every now and then these left-wing voters just get fed up and they want to leave the country. And they never do. <laughs> how many of the celebrity uh, leftists we had uh, saying, if uh, Brexit wins, I'm going to leave the country. If Boris Johnson gets a majority, I'm going to leave the country. If Maya Tusi gets 230,000 subscribers, I'm going to leave the country. <laughs> never happens. It's still here. But it's interesting because it says, I hope they get what they promised, what they've been promised. Now, have you seen what they've been promised? The current Tory party have been promising them socialism. They're giving more money to the NHS. They're creating more HS2 chaos. And they're funding everything. Basically, we're just nationalizing industries left, right, and center at this point without calling it that. We're just subsidizing everything. Yeah, that's what they've been promised. They've been promised the same policies that the new Labour government were giving them under Tony Blair and Gordon Brown. That's, that's, that's what they're getting. So if you're angry, then maybe become right wing. <laughs> so Claudia is not happy either. She says, that's crazy. I'd love to know what lies these people have been fed by Johnson. Fascinating how for a lot of uh, political tribes and you know, tribalist people in general, from both left and right, they always see the other side as liars. The Labour people think that Tories lie. The Tories think that Labour lie. Guys, you're all liars. You all lie on a daily basis. The politicians lie on a daily basis. The campaigners give empty promises. They just have to read from the leaflets that they've been given by the HQ. And it's all, it's all nonsense. You have lo local candidates running for their constituency as an MP to become a backbencher. And then on their leaflets, they have a manifesto saying, if you vote for me to become a backbencher as an MP, I will do this. I will basically create bridges. I will you know, create more schools. Backbench MPs don't have that power. Every single one of these candidates in their parties, they lie on a daily basis. Yet, people keep falling for it. And they, they think, Claudia thinks that it's only the Tories who are lying. They're all lying. That's just how the political class works. And then we have Joan. Okay, this is good. Joan, Joan says, what is wrong with these people? Okay. How could anyone who is either working class or a decent human being of any class look at Johnson and the Tories and think, yes, they are the guys for me. Okay, they keep bringing in class. They, they, they're obsessed with class. And then being a decent human being. Okay. Yet, Joan is the same person who's got multiple flags in her bio, including the one of them is a fake flag. It's the European Union, European Commission flag. And she now thinks that she's so progressive. She's above other human beings. She's so evolved. She now lives in the Star Trek world. And, you know, flags don't matter you know we're all citizens of the world but i'm still going to use flags only some of them only the spanish the italian the american and the british and the fake one what about the other flags if you're so progressive <laughs> add all the flags add the, add the flag of saudi and kuwait and north korea and cuba these are the random countries that don't happen all to be bad but no, it's a coincidence that <laughs> they all have bad governments but uh, it, it is fascinating that they they, they still think it's a class division sort of thing and they they every now and then they try to use causes whether it was the blm movement or extension rebellion or what happened with sarah everard they use your skin color and your gender and everything else but deep down everything goes back to class they are obsessed with class it's all politics of envy and that's all it is and uh, they think you know, that they just expose themselves and they say you know well if you're not decent then they you know that means that you believe in free markets <laughs> Yeah, because freedom is not about being decent. This is getting quite tiring. So I'm going to stop the list, but this is the last one I'm going to do because this is funny. Okay. Paulie um, replied to that opinion poll saying that lies help as well. A tweet of, um, a, well, posted the tweet, uh, Nadine Doris from the Tories said that we, we are, obviously Boris Johnson is creating all these free ports because of Brexit. And uh, one of them happens to be near Hartlepool. And she said that we have created 180,000 well-paid jobs, roughly. And then he also posted the Wikipedia page of Hartlepool that has 92,000 residents, the population of Hartlepool, and say, oh, how is it that these three ports, that one of them happens to be near Hartlepool, have created 180,000 jobs, 
but there are only 92,000 people in Hanfeng. <laughs> uh, okay, there are a number of free ports across the country, and one of them also near tea sides as well. And they think that it's a requirement if you want to work. Part of you know your job will be linked to the free ports. It doesn't have to be the actual ports. Then one of the requirements is you have to move to Hartlepool. You have to live there. You're not allowed to live in Manchester or Liverpool. No, no, no. Everybody has to move to Hartlepool. So he thinks he just he did this gotcha. Oh yeah, just discovered. I got some stats, guys. I got the data. We only have ninety-two thousand people living. <laughs> oh, I love Twitter. I love Twitter. Twitter is not the real world, but sometimes it's fun to just go and expose these uh, the hypocrisy of the left. We also see it on the right every now and then on certain issues, but the left are just astonishing, absolutely astonishing. So we're going to have this election tomorrow across the country, a number of elections, and we're going to have the reaction to it on this channel because the mainstream media are going to give you the updates that you don't really care about. So if you want to get the real news, subscribe to this channel for free. And stay up to date. I release videos every day, 5.45 p.m. and 8 p.m. UK time. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mario TC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.